All right, round two. I got a beef with some quarterback rankings of yours. Uh, Let's go. I think you're too high on Kirk Cousins. I'm not, okay. a, I'm not a Cousins fan. I know uh, a lot of people would say he's upgraded his situation substantially by moving from Washington to Minnesota, where he's going to inherit a pretty good uh, receiving core and potentially a pretty good running back situation, although Dalvin Cook is coming off an injury. I can't dispute the fact that the guy has a ton of talent. Um, mm-hmm. You got him as your quarterback six. You have mm-hmm. Ben Roethlisberger as your quarterback 10, I believe. Um, I feel like that is a little bit nuts. And you okay. know, I know that you're an upside chaser. And so, you know, I'm willing to, I'm willing to like take a step back and try to look at the big picture here, but let's talk about this. You've got okay. cousins as an edge on talent, which seems a little bit weird to me. I mean, Roethlisberger is an extremely talented guy and he's proven mm-hmm. it year after year after year. You give Roethlisberger only a one point edge on surrounding talent, which seems doubly odd to me. I mean, the Pittsburgh offense I don't know. I'd say second to none as far as, uh, you know, as far as surrounding talent. can go. Well, he's got so 15. He's got the perfect score for surrounding talent. Well, I mean, and, and maybe that's a flaw in the system because to me, like they're more than one notch better than, than almost anybody, certainly than Minnesota. We'll see. We'll talk about that in a minute. I mean, Minnesota okay. has good wide receivers, no question about it, and a potentially very good running back with a lot of risk attached to him. But Roethlisberger has like the best wide receiver, the best running back, and a wide receiver too that I think we both agree could be a top 10 overall wide receiver this mm-hmm. year, right? Yeah. I mean, that is just an arsenal beyond arsenals to have at your disposal as a quarterback. Um, I mean, the I mean, I remember the game they lost to Jacksonville in the playoffs. I mean, it was just ridiculous. He's just with Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown had like six touchdowns between them and like a jillion yards. It was just mm-hmm. amazing watching that machine happen. I mean, their defense let him down, but honestly, that leads to more opportunities for Roethlisberger and the offense to roll out there and score points. I feel like giving Cousins a two-point edge on risk seems a little bit strange. It has to only be referring to injury, mm-hmm. uh, which I would not say is a six for Ben. I would say that seems a bit low. The guy plays through injuries all the time. Um, and as far as like what's... So brave, right? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm dating myself a little bit, right? But yes. <laughs> but I mean, I would say that, you know, you look at the scheme and that's part of risk. Like, you know... Is this going to be a bust? Is this going to work out the way we think it is? I feel like the Steelers offense is not only, I mean, it's a very safe bet. Not only is it explosive, it's a very safe bet. Like, you know what you're going to get with these guys as long as they're healthy. Um, I think giving Cousins a nine to eight upside, uh, upside edge over Ben is wrong. I feel like Ben's upside is clearly a 10. I mean, he's the quarterback Mm -hmm. of the Steelers. So I, I don't know. I I don't know how you could give Cousins an edge on that. I mean, let's not bet the ranch on Stefan Diggs and Adam Thielen just yet. Like, they're good. They're not on the level of guys that are established, like, superstars, like top one, two, three fantasy guys in the league year after year. Explain to me why you would rather have Cousins than Big Ben. All right, yeah. uh, I would say the best point you made is the upside of of Big Ben. I think eight's low. You're right. At his best, if Ben hits his ceiling, it's 5,000 yards and like 35 TDs. We've seen him do it. So I think that needs some adjustment. I I agree with that one. Uh, Otherwise, there's one concern you didn't bring up about Big Ben, which factors into his talent and his risk, and that's the home road splits. I mean, when he gets on the road, you know, he becomes unstartable in a lot of these games. (laughs) I also think that the you're not wrong. You're not wrong. That's a good point. That, you know what I mean? Like there's half the season. He's a, an absolute stud that you want in your lineup and he throws for 404 TDs and you, you couldn't be happier, but then he gets to the road and he faces the Ravens and he throws for 252 picks and you, he just tanks you. Uh, so in that sense, was that factoring uh, that, into that, your risk rating? I mean, you had him yeah, as a six. Is that no, fact the, factoring into that? A hundred percent. Cause okay. you look at the consistency ratings um, that goes into risk. And I, I think, his consistency just isn't there a week to week. If you told me we got home Big Ben every single week, then yeah, he'd be like the top. He'd be number three on the quarterback list because he's so good um, in those games. But the conference to me is just brutal. Uh, you know, those hard-nosed games just get physical. Even against the Bengals, you don't have a great defense. Bodies are flying everywhere. Uh, so that that factor in the talent and risk for me is the on-the-road splits. Plus, he's just old. I mean, he, he's yeah. old. Um, he's talked about wanting to retire. So, I mean, obviously he's coming back. So it means the mental edge should be there. There should be some fire. Uh, but ultimately there, there's so many hits, you know, he's played through lots of injuries, like you said, in his career, but at this age, is he still going to be willing to strap it up when he has like a broken rib, like he has in the past? Uh, plus 
you said that the scheme is just a guaranteed locked in Steelers offense, but they did lose Todd Haley this offseason, who they've had for six straight seasons. You imagine that the coordinator coming in, his uh, quarterback coach from last year, should be smart enough to, you know, keep everything in place as it is. And in fact, have better chemistry with Big Ben is the reason they're, they're rumored to keep him. But that's not a guarantee either that this guy is going to be able to call such an explosive attack and game plan every single week the way that, that Haley was able to. So ultimately, those three factors, the injury, the on the road uh, splits, the age, plus the fact that we don't know if this scheme is going to be as good in the past, makes Big Ben a little bit riskier than I think you're giving him credit for. Whereas Kirk Cousins, he's been getting it done you know, over 4,000 yards three straight years with, I'd say, pretty shit talent around him. I mean, Jamison Crowder has been his top talent. Josh Doxson's breakout has yet to come. Terrell Pryor was garbage. And he still threw for over 4,000 yards. Now you give him Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen, who made Case Keenum look like a hero last year. I don't think Case Keenum's that good. I think that was a product of the system uh, and the people around him. I think Diggs and Thielen are maybe the best, uh, one of the best duos. Obviously, Antonio Brown and, and Juju. Come on. Exactly. I was like, wait, the guy I'm comparing to has a better duo. So that's not correct. But one of the best duos, I think Adam Thielen um, and Stephon Diggs, plus Kyle Rudolph, who you got to mention. I like after. Rudolph. I do I'm like Rudolph. Beast. Um, and, and I just love the coordinator who came in over from Philadelphia to Filippo uh, is just comes in with an aggressive, no huddle type attack, went out and got the quarterback that he thinks is most cerebral to run that uh, has great weapons all around him. I mean, if this guy is just dominating, you know, in, in the Redskin situation, I think everything has come up spades here and that we have yet to see the best of cousins and that this is going to be the situation that lets that all unfold in my opinion. All right. uh, upside though. I think I agree. Big Ben versus Kirk Cousins. I mean, Big Ben, we've seen just have humongous ceiling. So at minimum, they should be equal, if not Big Ben above them. Other than that, I think I graded out Cousins more appropriately than Big Ben. uh, And I think he's higher than a lot of categories outside surrounding talent. All right. We'll let the public decide. We'll come back with round three right after this.